This is ASUS Prime Z690-P Wi-Fi D4 motherboard and today we're gonna know how to get into BIOS Plus and enable the USB boot in UEFI format. As you can see this is Windows 10 bootable thumb drive. First of all you need to connect it to your desktop computer and then if you see this AMI page press F1 to get into setup page. Now the ASUS does have two sort of interface for BIOS one of them called EZ mode that you can see kind of uh, latest uh, formation of the page you can see the boot menu and the fan illustration and other stuff but if you press F7 you're gonna see the traditional BIOS page click here and you're gonna see like that and again if you press you're gonna go back to EZ mode these are the two but to change the BIOS option, I would suggest you go to advanced mode, which is by pressing F7. All right, so to change into UEFI means we have to change those settings. As you can see on the screen, I took the screenshot. So the legacy USB support from enable to disable, voice type from other OS to Windows UEFI mode. And the last option, the third one at the bottom, as you can see, secure boot mode from custom settings to standard. Once we find those settings and once we change that into that format, everything should be fine. We can restart the PC and boot it to Windows 10 UEFI or Win Windows 11 UEFI. So let's begin the process and see what happened next. All right, so first of all, let's go to USB configuration. And from here, we're gonna disable the legacy USB support. As you can see, by default, that was enabled. So click on the arrow, drop down menu, and just do disable, or you can leave it on auto, whatever you like. All right, that's fine. Now we need to go back. So now we're gonna get into boot. Click here and then find the secure boot option, which is the second one. And from here, OS type, we're gonna choose from other OS, which is default to Windows and secure boot mode has to be standard one second and that one windows uefi mode those are the fundamental settings that we need to change from legacy to uefi now we can exit that by saving it and once the system restart because of there is no operating system that's going to boot up directly from the bootable windows 10 or 11 thumb drive okay so let's save it, save changes and reset. And it's gonna show you at a glance like what you've done within past few minutes. Those are the ones that we did. Now we're gonna press okay and that would restart and start up from the bootable USB. Now this process sometimes takes time. If you do have faster USB, and if you connect into 3.2 version, then it's gonna be much more quicker. If you do have 2.0 version, then it takes a little bit of time, as you can see. I do have uh, Intel i7, 11 gen, and then 16 gig RAM with the motherboard. Quite a good configuration, but still is taking time, which is normal. So if you see this sort of delay, don't worry, that should be absolutely fine and brilliant. Just give it the time and then we can get into the main process. All right, so finally it's all done. And that is a successful boot in Windows 10. Thanks for watching. I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.